I'm showing you guys System, which is a crystal PvP client for Minecraft Java Edition 1.21. To get it, you can head over to their official GitHub page, which is going to be linked right down in the description below. Uh, as you can see, I'm there right now, and the great thing about this client is that it is open source. Anyways, we can navigate over to the Releases tab, where you will find the latest release right over here. Um, they have a pre-built jar, so we can just click on this and the download will start automatically. System is a Fabric client and so obviously also requires the Fabric API. Uh, I will link this down in the description below. So as I said, system client requires Fabric installed. This means you, doesn't, you don't only need the Fabric API, but you also need to have the Fabric loader installed for 1.21. If you don't have this yet or you're not sure where to get it, I will link it down in the description below. Anyways, here as you can see in my downloads, I have the Fabric API as well as System Client. So now I can simply press on the Windows and R buttons on my keyboard at the same time. Then in the box that pops up, you want to type in App Data. Then hit Enter, and in this area, you, you want to go into the folder called Roaming, then .minecraft, and then scroll down until you find the Mods folder. Simply drag both of these into the mods folder and once you've done that, you can close this up, open up the Minecraft launcher and launch the fabric loader for 1.21. Wow, it looks like I've played around with ender crystals and obsidian in this world before, which is quite the coincidence because... As I said, System Client is originally made for CPVP. It is not a completely original client. It is actually a fork of Argon Client, a client some of you guys may know. But this is more specifically focused on disabling certain anti-cheats, namely the Grim anti-cheat. Anyways, uh, let's get into this client. So to use this, you can simply press on the right shift button on your keyboard. And here we have the client. Now, fair warning, as opposed to many other clients that uh, claim to have started out with CPVP or uh, like specialize in crystal PVP, this client is only crystal PVP. But I mean, what it does, it is very good at, and so this area is going to look a little different than for the more general clients. As you can see, there is a, well, there is a sword PvP option, then there's a whole crystal section here, optimizers, then you have your rendering options, and finally the client and self-destruct options. So the client is pretty simple and self-explanatory to use. As you can see, when you hover over these, you always get a description right there, uh, just around the middle of your screen, which is neat. You can click on these to turn them on, click on them once again to turn them off, and right-clicking gives you the customization. Now, there aren't a whole lot of utilities, although for Crystal PvP, you have literally everything you could ask for, um, but I mean, the customization is pretty insane. There is quite a lot of things. As you can see, it does look definitely a bit like Argon Client, which, I mean, it is literally a fork of, so fair enough, I guess. Anyways, to customize the client itself, you can enter the customization menu uh, labeled System. Here, you can just customize a bunch of things about the client, as well as the keybind to open and close the click GUI, which, as I said, is by default set to right shift. Anyways, as I said, for the rest, the client is pretty self-explanatory and easy to use. There's really not a lot more to add to this, especially if you're quite experienced using clients like this. Anyways, uh, for right now, that was basically that then, I guess. Thank you ever so much for watching, and I do, of course, hope to see you all again in the next one. Bye-bye.